On this episode I'm going to be covering an upcoming game that I've seen very few talk about, but it's absolutely one that deserves a little more attention, and that is Concrete Genie by the incredibly small studio Pixel Opus. Concrete Genie tells the story of a teenage boy called Ash, a character I'm sure some of you will have been able to relate to at some point in your life, an isolated and bullied teen that is going through a particularly rough time. Ash comes from a small seaside town called Denska, a place that was once lively and bright, but sadly has become polluted and mostly abandoned by its inhabitants, giving it a rather drab and cold feeling. Ash, however, is with your help going to bring it back to life. He is a creative and artistic person, often found doodling in his notebook, although one day the bullies take it, tearing out the pages and scattering them to the wind. Initially, Ash attempts to go on a quest to recover the pages, but along the way discovers a mysterious lighthouse containing a magical paintbrush that can bring his art to life, which he'll use to beat the bullies and ultimately save his hometown. As you probably guessed, this magical paintbrush plays a large role in the gameplay. You can paint on more or less any wall, creating some really cool scenes and creatures called genies. Pixel Opus have designed the game to be as accessible as possible, so whether you consider yourself creative or not, you'll be to pick it up and start making some fantastic stuff in minutes. You won't be told whether your designs are good, bad, right or wrong, so you're free to experiment however you wish. Painting is done not using the analogue sticks, but in fact the gyroscope within the DualShock 4. How fast you move the brush, or how much pressure you apply to the trigger button, will produce different results. As you progress through the game and find more of the missing notebook pages, you unlock new brushes, opening up your creativity options. How you create your genie will also affect how they turn out. For example, if you create a red genie, it will have a fire affinity, while a yellow genie will have an electricity affinity, and so on. In addition, what kind of attachments you use will shape their personality. Genies having different elemental types play a big part in how you'll overcome puzzles, from powering a fuse box to open a gate, to burning down obstacles that are standing in your way. Genies will also occasionally ask you to do things. By fulfilling their needs, they will in turn reward you. For example, they can give you super paint that allows you to remove the darkness from walls that you previously couldn't paint on. Ash of course won't be bringing the town to life completely uninhibited, as he'll have the previously mentioned bullies to contend with, who will try their best to hamper his journey. Thankfully he can climb to the rooftops of buildings to escape them. Bullies aren't his only concern though, as he'll have to engage in combat with the dark creatures themselves that plague the town. These sections are quite different from the rest of the game, but should provide a nice change of pace and add some variety into the gameplay loop. Considering the game has such an emphasis on the visuals and making your own artwork, it will unsurprisingly be accompanied by a photo mode. This isn't a unique mode of course, most of PlayStation's first party games have one now, but I can't think of many that are quite as natural a fit as Concrete Genie. Additionally, players won't just be able to take still screenshots, but also create time lapses of their creations from start to finish, giving others insight into the process behind them. Concrete Genie, after a number of delays, is finally releasing exclusively for the PS4 on October 8th in the US and a day later on October 9th in Europe. There is PS4 Pro support in the form of a 4K mode, although as with most pro games, this will likely be some form of upscale 4K, but no hard numbers have been announced. Slightly disappointing, however, is that the game won't have HDR support, at least at launch, which is a shame to hear as a title such as this that's bursting with so much vibrant colour is a perfect fit for HDR. Pixel Opus have said they would have liked to have provided both, but due to being a small team, chose to prioritise a 4K mode initially. Personally, I feel that was a wrong decision, but I'm sure the game will look great regardless, and they have said they are considering adding HDR sometime in the future. If you have a PlayStation VR, you'll be pleased to hear there will be two additional VR modes to take advantage of. The first adds additional story, following a curious genie named Splotch beneath Denska's ominous lighthouse on a quest to unlock a mysterious power using your magical paintbrush. Once you've finished that, you'll unlock the free paint mode, which is exactly what it sounds like, allowing you to create whatever you wish to, all with the added immersion of VR. Both modes use move controllers, which should make creating feel really intuitive if the upcoming game Dreams is anything to go by. In terms of playtime, Concrete Genie is said to take only around 5-6 to six hours to beat, quite a small amount of time compared to many other games of today, but that is counteracted somewhat by the fact it isn't being sold as a full price title, selling for just £25 in the UK or $30 for those of you in the US. It is worth noting this 5-6 to six hours is likely based on a straight run through and doesn't include obtaining all the trophies, collectibles, discovering all the secrets or the VR modes. Pixel Opus have previously only really created one title before called Entwined, which had a somewhat mixed response. That said, Concrete Genie looks really promising so far, 
It is releasing during a difficult period with a lot of AAA games, so it might be a title that many simply push to the side, but it's definitely one to watch and could be one of 2019's best and most charming games. That's it for today. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for a notification each time a video goes live. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.